Hey everybody, so I am so excited to start doing this. Um, this is getting me way out of my comfort zone because I want to talk about some things that might drive people crazy. Um, it's a lot of fun for me. Uh, my story, I, I've always been into sci-fi. I've always looked for like the reason behind things and the reason behind things I'd go deeper and deeper. Well, I was working for the county and I ran across the UFO Disclosure Act of 2011. So I listened to, I was working and I'd have this listening on um, another page, you know, while I was working. So I could listen, I had a notebook and I'd write down notes. I listened to 30 hours of mili the high military ranking testimony. Stephen Greer kind of goes into this with his unacknowledged. I have notes here too. But um, the, so basically what they were saying is what has been happening and for how long. And I'll go into depth in other videos and throughout. Um, every Friday, I want to do a Freaky Friday. So I will drop information here. Um, I'll give you some, basically, we're putting together a puzzle. And it's a puzzle of your awareness. So I will give you puzzle pieces that I've come across that have interest me. If you have a puzzle piece that you want to fit together and add something to that, drop, um, you know, links, pictures, whatever below, or to me. And um, let's just get the conversation started because we have been in the dark for way too long. Um, more and more people are starting to wake up and really start to start seeing things, be around things. Us that work with energy, the energy is off the chain. Um, when I run somebody's um, energetic body process, it's off the chain. Chain like the the Sherman resonance is like freaking even the Earth's frequency is shifting and switching. So let's start talking about this. So the first thing that I became aware was the invasion of Washington D.C. and this is so freaking cool. At first, when I kind of went down that rabbit hole, I thought it was like a movie, but literally it happened. I also came across um, Project Blue Book on the History Channel just got done. Um, I don't know if they've done another um, part series to it, but there was like six or eight different episodes. And what I loved is I ran across that and I finally watched them and they tie to a lot of the different like freaky stuff, um, freaky Friday stuff that I've always been intrigued by. So Project Blue Book is an amazing show. Watch it with an open mind. And this is all my interesting point of view. Who knows if it's true or not? We'll see if I get kicked off of Facebook for all this. But hey, you know, people are starting to open up and talk about this. And how cool is it that I'm starting my Freaky Fridays on the day that everybody is storming or out there at Area 51? And um, more power to you guys. Wake the masses. So um, back in July 12th of 1952 to, to July 29th, there were UFOs sighted in Washington, D.C. At that time, that was the most um, that was the most UFO activity recorded by people calling in and saying there's stuff flying, you know, like, what is this? Well, the whole idea behind Project Blue Book was there was this doctor, um, I forget his name, but he was a German, and we'll go behind that a little bit deeper. You can look up Project Paperclip for that. That's a whole other story. But this all ties together, and it, like, blows my mind, and I'm so sick of, like, not talking about it. And what's cool is when I start talking about it to people, I meet the right kind of people, and they fill in my puzzle pieces and it just it I I love it. So in Project Blue Book, this German scientist um basically was given information from the military on different situations that were happening around that time. And this all happened like right around the the beginning of like or the end of World War II, the Hiroshima bomb, that kind of stuff. So it's really interesting how this all ties together. 
but the German um, scientist was given the um, investigations, but what they wanted him to do, and this is in Project Blue Book, was to go about them and actually um, debunk them. First of all, prove that they weren't what they were saying, that they weren't aliens, that it wasn't an invasion, it wasn't um, anything to do with aliens, it had some kind of natural phenomenon. So he debunked the Washington DC in 1952 when UFOs showed up and flew around the Washington Monument and people thought there was an alien invasion that um, it was weather balloons. How many times have we heard weather balloons or uh, Chinese lanterns? You know, that's what's in the sky. Okay, so we won't go there. But so I thought that was really interesting um, also, around that same time, in 1957, March 16th of 1957, you can look up Stranger at the Pentagon, and this was written by Dr. Frank Strange. Where have we heard of Dr. Strange? Where does that come into a parallel? So, there was a guy, that, or an, an alien from Venus, that actually landed at the Pentagon um, March 16th, 1957. He stayed at the Pentagon for over three years and worked with our military. He gave our military um, alien technology, different things like that. He worked with um, he worked with uh, President Eisenhower. If you look up Eisenhower's daughter, she is a huge UFO disclosure um, speaker. Um, I've heard her, her talks and it's really cool for her background and her history with this Valiant Thor and how her family was kind of involved with all that. And she even like met them and like, it's, it's really cool. So this is like our history that we are not talking about because, you know, they, they don't want us to think bigger and better and bolder. So President Eisenhower, um, Vice President Nixon they came from Venus, they stayed for three years, and they literally sat down with Eisenhower and laid out kind of where we were going with our atomic and nuclear weapons. And literally Eisenhower told them that it didn't work with our economics, like our economy, like at this time. Whoa, okay, <laughs> so they left, um, but they never stopped watching over us. So. Those are some really cool things. I'll drop one more. I always, I always want to do like three. And this is huge for me. So if you've ever, uh, another really cool rabbit hole to look down is Dolores Cannon. In 1960, Dolores Cannon started working for the military. And she does this amazing, powerful technique called the QHHT, which is a quantum healing hypnosis technique. And I know somebody personally that does this process. So if you want it done, I can get you in touch with her. And I would love to interview her, but I got to like touch base with her and see if this is something she'd do an interview with. But Dolores Cannon worked for the military. She was actually doing a hypnosis. Her husband was in the military and um, she actually... Um, did hypnosis for like stop smoking, PTSD, you know, that kind of stuff. But literally what she started doing is she, she started like these hypnosis techniques and it started tapping into, she realized the idea around reincarnation because when you do this, you go to a past life and you really do. I actually went to three and when I I'm not sure if I'll ever do a, I, I, I will like later down the road, but, um, in my, in my quantum healing hypnosis technique, I lasted about four hours and I went to a space and a place where I was in a past life where I was about to be, um, I was at the moment where I, I was about to like pass or die. And right before I passed or died in that past life, my super conscious came in and just downloaded and answered all these different questions that I've always had. 
So it's a really amazing technique. It takes a long time, but like literally time flies because again, time doesn't exist. Okay, another Freaky Friday fact. So Dolores Cannon started doing this hypnosis and the really cool thing is she was doing it with these different people that the way she was doing it, she started tapping into these past live events. And the more she kind of like, it integrated into it. I'm not sure if I'm really like going into all this, but this is what I've heard. The more she started tapping into these past lives, she started tapping into a, a, a super consciousness. And you can like YouTube her, um, Dolores Cannon. I'll drop her name below too. But um, there's a really cool one on no- Notre Dame. Like she tapped into Notre Dame and Notre Dame actually like, downloaded her with information there's even a q uh go on youtube and look up qhht quantum healing hypnosis technique there's people doing it all around because they're starting to answer questions that we've always had so the cool part is is you can go to youtube and click quantum qhht and look it up and there's recordings of people um you know, like saying stuff and going through their process. And the really cool one is right around the time that the cathedral was burning, um, there was one that was done a week before the cathedral burned and somebody saw it in their QHHT. And like, literally they talk about like why it was burning. It was basically the takedown of what that represented. And that's a whole nother rabbit hole. So I've given you some really cool, this is amazing for me to do because I've had this stuff locked in here for a long time and I want to drop it out there and give you a puzzle piece. And if you want to put the puzzle together, great. If you want to keep it in the box, then it's not for you. I could care less, but I need to get out of my comfort zone and I'm jumping full force and I would love to hear what you guys thought about this and tell me what you want to hear next and wait for we might even not even have to wait till friday because i really love talking about this stuff but definitely look up um the the invasion of washington dc the ufo invasion in 1952 definitely look up valiant thor the stranger at the pentagon oh my god in 1957 and then Dolores Cannon and the quantum healing hypnosis technique around the 1960s. Um, and then also the UFO Disclosure Act of 2011. So have fun. This is, this is kind of a little bit scary because you're getting out of your comfort zone and out of what we've always been told. Um, if this feels right for you, dig a little bit deeper. If it doesn't, don't. Um, these are soft disclosure that I'm giving you. We'll go into a little bit more in depth. If you want to know what YouTubes I listen to, things like that, let me know. I will um, drop that to you. I listen to Edge of Wonder. I listen to um, Quantum Shift. And I listen to Jace, uh, Jordan Sather, um, Destroying the Illusion. So those are the ones I kind of listen to and also Deep State Mapping Project. Those are kind of the ones that I kind of add puzzle pieces, grab puzzle pieces from to put my puzzle together. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I forgot my tinfoil hat. I'll have that next week. So I'm going to Vegas. I'm so excited. And I wanted to drop Freaky Friday. So tell me something freaky.